Well, there are images that we won't forget. As we showed you yesterday, a young bear walked into a fur shop in Aspen and was photographed in the front window. And so many of you responded to the story that we wanted to share more of the story with you. Nine News reporter Dave Delosier went to Aspen and he brings us the story of the bear, the shop owner, and a night that neither will likely ever forget. Yes, it's beautiful. And this time of the year, a popular place to visit. We are uh, right on the mall in downtown Aspen. And right in the middle of lots and lots of people are. Um, lots of fur. We, we're a fur specialty store. As you can see, Aspen's very dog friendly. Everyone <laughs> comes with their dogs. Right, Lucy? Lucy's welcome. Customers are welcome. And of course, when we're here, we leave the door open. People wander in. And then one night, something else wandered in. Well, I was actually standing right in this spot, right where I'm standing now, when all of a sudden I see a bear coming in. I mean, we just were sitting at our desk. He walks right past here. It's about this high, right? So it's um, right past there, right to the back over there. Where the bear stopped and looked at a mink coat like it was a long-lost friend. He liked that one in particular, yeah. <laughs> He seemed to know where he was going, <laughs> as, any, as any good shopper would know. <laughs> At that point, something else common to Aspen became a problem. That's when one of our um, cell phone paparazzi came right up to him over here and started taking pictures not 10 feet from him. Scared, the bear took off. Then the next thing I saw the bear run around into the window. And right into view of tourists and cameras on the mall. So part of it was just, wow, it's beautiful. And part of me was, okay, this is dangerous. For him, I'm sure it was very surprising. No, it doesn't surprise me, no. Dan Glidden's job with the Aspen Police is to deal with bears. Last summer, he responded to 30 calls about bears. This summer, there have been 203. A better question is where haven't we found bears? <laughs> and then the bear came down and went out the front door. Photos on their computer are there to remind them this really did happen. I mean, I'm still pinching myself and wondering if that really happened, you know. A shopping trip neither the bear nor the Goodmans will soon forget. I prefer human shoppers. Interesting as experience as it was, I wouldn't invite it again. In Aspen, this is Dave Delosier, 9 News. The Aspen police tell us the weather is the reason for increased number of bear contacts this year. The cool and wet spring caused berries not to grow as plentiful in the high country. And the bears have been in Aspen simply looking for something to eat. You would think just the opposite, wouldn't you? With all the rain, there'd be a lot of berries. Right. So maybe they need a little bit of drier conditions or something. I guess. So they're hungry. It sounds like the, you know, the, the spring thing or the pre-fall hibernation thing, but there's just not enough food for them. Because the, the weather has just got everything what, nuts. 230 yeah. bears? Can you believe context? it? Yes. Wow. As you said, you know, a better question to ask is where have we not had bears? Yeah, so. <laughs> pretty, pretty well when they walk into the store, though. Yikes. Yeah. I, you know, and, it's, and how, I guess it doesn't surprise you there's paparazzi in Aspen. Yeah. But People with cell phones everywhere bear. these days. Yeah. Leave him alone. One flash and he was gone, I'm sure. Yeah. Uh-oh. Okay. Uh-oh, boo-boo. <laughs>